equation of fluid statics. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to derive a relationship between pressure, density and height. Have you ever dived into a deep swimming pool and felt the increase of pressure on your ears? Well, this happens due to the force of water gushing on your eardrums with great pressure. When you dive deep into the water, the pressure you feel on your ears is twice as the pressure created at the surface. This will be thrice at the depth of 20 meters and four times at the depth of 30 meters and so on. But in the case of an ocean, diving deep below 1000 meters would lead you to death as the pressure of water is higher in the oceans. When it comes to sea creatures, they adapt themselves to survive at different pressure levels at different depths. Not all sea creatures live at all depths. The pressure at different depths allows different species to survive in it. Also, the speed of the sea creatures inside the sea depends on the density of the sea water. Hence, the travel speed of any body in a fluid medium depends on the density of the fluid and the body experiences different levels of pressure at different depths. In this topic, you are going to learn about the pressure density height relationship of fluids at rest. This phenomenon is called as the equation of fluid statics. The basic equation of fluid statics that is a fluid at rest is governed by the variation of pressure at different points of the fluid. Thus, the pressure at any point in the fluid is calculated based on the hydrostatic law. The law states that the rate of increase of pressure in vertically downward direction must be equal to the specific weight of the fluid at that point. Consider a glass of coffee that is kept on the table for more than an hour. Assume a sugar cube ABCD present inside the coffee at a distance of Z from the free surface with height delta Z and cross-sectional area delta A and let the density of the coffee be rho. The fluid element is subjected to different magnitude of pressure at each direction. In the surface AB, the pressure acts perpendicularly in the downward direction. The pressure force on surface AB is represented by P into delta A. On the opposite surface CD, the pressure acts perpendicularly in vertically upward direction. The pressure on CD is represented by the equation P plus dou P by dou Z into delta Z into delta A. The force created due to the weight of the element ABCD is expressed by the equation density into gravity into volume. This can be represented by the equation rho into g into delta A into delta Z. The pressure on the sides AD and BC are equal and opposite. Generally, any element in the fluid at rest is in the state of equilibrium. Thus, the total force acting on the section is equal to zero. Hence, P delta A minus P delta A minus dP by dz into delta z into delta A plus rho into g into delta A into delta z is equal to zero. On simplifying, minus dP by dz into delta z into delta A plus rho into g into delta A into delta z is equal to zero. Cancelling the common values, rho into g into delta a into delta z is equal to dp by dz into delta z into delta a. Rho into g is equal to dp by dz. In the equation, rho into g can be written as w, which is the weight density of the fluid. Thus, the equation rho into g is equal to dp by dz which proves the hydrostatic law as stated already. This equation can be written as rho into g into dz is equal to dp. 
integrating on both sides p is equal to rho gz in this equation p is the pressure acting in the fluid z is the height of the element from the free surface and rho is the density of the fluid this equation is considered as the pressure density height relationship of fluids for pressure head consideration the equation can be represented by z z is equal to p by rho into g which is equal to p by w now let us see how this equation helps us in calculating the pressure of any static water body located in your area let us find the pressure at a depth of 12 cm from the free surface of a reservoir located nearby solution the depth of water h is equal to 12 cm the density of water rho is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube the gravity force g is equal to 9.81 meter per second square let us now find the pressure at a depth of 12 cm from the free surface substitute the values in the pressure formula p is equal to rho into g into z we get p is equal to 117.7 kN per meter cube thus the pressure at the depth of 12 cm in the reservoir is 117.7 kN per meter cube next let us see how the equation helps us in calculating the depth of the water for which the pressure is known in a given overhead water storage tank the pressure force is found to be 22 kN per meter square let us now calculate the depth of water corresponding to the pressure solution the water pressure in the tank is 22 kN per meter square the density of water rho is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube the gravity force g is equal to 9.81 meters per second square substituting this in the pressure formula z is equal to p by rho into g this is equal to 22 into 10 cube by 1000 into 9.81 which is equal to 2.24 meters thus the depth of water at which the pressure of 22 kN per meter square is 2.24 meters from the free surface thus the pressure density and depth relationship equation is used in calculating the data in static water structures let's sum up the travel speed of any body in a fluid medium depends on the density of the fluid and the body experiences different levels of pressure at different depths the hydrostatic law states that the rate of increase of pressure in vertically downward direction must be equal to the specific weight of the fluid at that point the pressure density height relationship of fluids is expressed by the equation p is equal to rho into g into z for pressure head consideration the equation can be represented by z is equal to p by rho into g which is equal to p by w